Hey guys, Mupig here back with another video and today we're going to dive into the question can we build a brain? So there's lots of controversy surrounding this question in the fields of artificial intelligence and neuroscience and just among people in general. And before you personally decide uh, a stance on this question, there are lots of things to consider first. So today we're going to dive into some of these things and actually just explore consciousness as a whole uh, a little as well. So uh, to start, we're going to look at one of the biggest names in AI, and that is Mr. Elon Musk. If you haven't heard of Elon Musk, basically him and his companies have been very successful in the recent years, and some of his companies, specifically Tesla and OpenAI, are very AI minded there they use the technology of the latest AI and so that's why I chose him as a figure to look at and also uh, because he openly voices his opinion on the future of AI as well so we're gonna take a look just real quick at what he believes is the future of AI so I'm gonna go ahead and read you guys a quick snippet of an actual conversation uh, between Musk and a news reporter so the news reporter initially asks something like what do you feel about the future of AI how do you think uh, it's gonna be and then what are the precautions um, we're gonna have to face um, going into the future and so Musk says the following I think we should be very careful about artificial intelligence if I had to guess at what our biggest existential threat is it's probably that so we need to be very careful with artificial intelligence I'm increasingly inclined to think that there should be some regulatory oversight maybe at the national and international level just to make sure that we don't do something very foolish with artificial intelligence we're summoning the demon you know those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water and he's like yeah, he's sure you can control the demon? Doesn't work out. Along with this, Musk also has been quoted saying he has nightmares about AI and its future. So it's clear that even a figure like Elon Musk worries about AI and holds an opinion that in the future it could threaten the human race. Now, before I expand any further on this, I feel it's important to first differentiate between the dangers of progressing AI to the point of consciousness and the dangers of actually applying AI in today's world to potentially harm humans. And so with that said, the AI we have today is actually already capable of causing harm to humans, uh, but not simply because it decides to or because it has the internal motive to, but rather because people give it the power to. And so a quick example of something like this would be having an AI assist police officers in taking down attackers, uh, and then the AI accidentally kills an innocent person due to a malfunction of the system. And so this type of scenario, this type of danger, is actually a practical one, a plausible one we might see in the near future as AI is applied to more and more things, uh, in this case law enforcement, um, but my whole point in bringing this up is to contrast this with the dangers that Musk is talking about. And what he's referring to is how at some point in time we will develop AI so far that it will actually become self-aware and gain its own motive to inflict harm on the human race uh, for the good of the AI itself. This scenario is the future Musk believes is inevitable. However, it seems very far-fetched given several factors. To start, the standpoint that Musk holds is completely contingent upon a concept known as emergence. Now, emergence, just in the context of the brain, is the property that consciousness emerges from the mind, given its physical makeup. So basically what that's saying is because the brain exists the way it does, consciousness is a natural product of its existence. That consciousness naturally emerges from the mind. And just to provide a few analogies to hopefully better connect you to the concept of emergence, we can look at something like chess, for example. So chess is a game governed by fairly simple rules, uh, but from these simple rules emerge enormous complexity within the game. Another example is water. Uh, water molecules are fairly simple, fairly small, but when you group lots and lots of them together, new properties emerge from the group as a whole, such as liquidity. And so the whole concept of emergence gives rise to the standpoint that Musk and others like Stephen Hawking and Bill Gates take. This is because they believe that when the brain can be exactly simulated in a computer, consciousness will then proceed to emerge from this computational brain, similar to the way the human brain does. Now that we've defined emergence and showed its importance in standpoints similar to those of Musk's, let's talk about some counter-arguments to emergence of consciousness from a computational brain. Even if we were able to completely simulate the brain in all of its parts and functions, it is still a simulation and not a physical brain. Simulation is not the same as replication, and this whole idea is kind of the main argument against emergence from a computational brain. A great example of this is provided in a Huffington Post article written by Bobby Azarian, uh, and I'll link this down in the description below, but he states the following. Photosynthesis refers to the process by which plants convert light into energy. This process requires specific biochemical reactions only viable given a material that has specific molecular 
molecular and atomic properties. A perfect computer simulation of photosynthesis will never be able to convert light into energy, no matter how accurate and no matter what type of hardware you provide the computer with. To me, this is a great parallel considering the simulation of a brain with a computer. No matter how good the model or computing power, no simulation can truly replicate the brain because it's not a physical brain and will not take on the same properties of one. So again, we can ask the question, can we build a brain? And at this point in time, the only real answer we can say for sure is that we don't know. So much of the brain and consciousness is still a large mystery to us, and we have so much more to explore and learn about our own thinking machines before we can even begin to try and build one. To wrap up this video, I want to leave you guys with something really quick. I want you to really think about how you know you exist. You can quite literally ask yourself, am I alive or am I conscious? and truthfully answer yes to yourself. It's really an amazing thing to think about. Now I want you to wiggle your fingers and toes and really feel what it feels like for your mind to inhabit the body you have. When you want to move a muscle, you don't think twice about it. It's almost like your mind is everywhere throughout your body, even though it isn't, of course. This is because connections from the nervous system are intricately woven throughout your entire body, connecting it to the brain. But just the whole idea of being self-aware and knowing that you're conscious and having control over every single movement and everything you do is truly an amazing thought, and there's no way to really describe this in words. So I thought I would leave this whole kind of idea with you guys to stew on if you've never thought about it before. And that's going to conclude today's video. Thank you all for watching. If you guys enjoyed this whatsoever or learned something new, be sure to show some support by either leaving a like or a comment down below. And also, let me know if you guys enjoy the style of video. This is something new for me and my channel, and I would love to make more videos like it uh, if I get some good feedback on it. Also, feel free to leave your own personal opinion down in the comment section below. I'd really love to hear some of your own personal opinions and have a nice conversation amongst viewers about this topic. A quick message to those of you who have been subscribers for a while now. I first want to say thank you so much for staying subscribed to the channel and watching this video especially to the very end to even hear this message in the first place but I know it's been a long long time since I've actually uploaded a video and if you were unaware I've officially resigned from the MCPE community so I will no longer be uploading any more MCPE content and I originally stopped uploading MCPE content in the first place simply because I was not very interested in what I was doing and the content I was producing. I really wanted to pursue some of my own personal interests, and those did not include making MCPE YouTube videos. But I still love YouTube. That does not mean that I have forgotten about you guys, even though it's been such a long time. Um, so I decided to kind of mix things up and try a new style that mixes my own personal interests with the love of YouTube that I have. So hopefully you guys enjoy this style of video as subscribers of the channel for a while now. Uh, and if not, I can totally understand why you would feel like unsubscribing. I know many of you have subscribed for gaming only, and I totally understand if you want to unsubscribe. So feel free to do that. Uh, if this is not the type of style you want to see out of this channel. But this is the new kind of style I will be pursuing. And if you enjoy it, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below and that you've been a subscriber. And I would love to get back with some of you guys. So that officially concludes today's video. Once again, thank you guys for tuning in. And I will see you all in the next one. Have a good one.